What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Thomas and I just wanted to give you guys a very quick video on the announcement that we just received about an hour ago. So the announcement was made by Bone on the Discord server. He's talking about how there's going to be new roles. He says, we're building and developing the next phase of our roadmap, which will deliver widespread value to our holders, which is awesome news for us, by the way. To support these upcoming evolutions, a series of new Discord roles are being deployed for our community members to obtain. Some contain immediate benefits, others hold more mysterious powers. Note, there are some roles that can only be acquired through decisions, consequence, and significance. Real quickly, let's go through the actual roles that will be available to us from now on. C1, this one's pretty self-explanatory. If you hold a component 1 NFT, you'll get this role. If you are holding a component 1 NFT currently and you don't have this role, make sure to re-verify using the NFT verification channel on the Discord. C2, uh, C2 isn't available yet and mo half more than half of these aren't available to us yet. Um, but if you hold the component 2 NFT, then you will be able to have the C2 role on Discord. And then same with uh, C3 if you hold a component 3. Midnight Machine. Uh, I believe this has to do with the uh, website. It mentioned something about Midnight and uh, we're seeking out the machines. I can't remember exactly what it was. Uh, feel free to read through the website on your own. Tomb Reaper. Uh, I actually haven't heard anything about this in the lore at all. So I'm not too sure what that what that's about. Opus Anonymous, not sure what that's about either. Psilocybin, Sanctity. So if you looked into C1, C2, and C3, so far we have the images for C1 and C2. You'll know that they are portions of the molecular structure of psilocybin. So I believe this may have something to do with uh, the components. If you're maybe combining them, you get the psilocybin NFT and you know maybe that'll be used to get the DEMP. Uh, now, speaking of DEMP, there's a Divine Entity role, so this will be for those who hold the Divine Entity. The Silence in Six. This one's a red role. This one looks very dark and mysterious and eerie. I really like that. I feel like that one, you're gonna have to make some type of decision and it'll have some type of consequence or some type of significance. Uh, Zero Hour Collective, I believe that's stated somewhere on the website, I can't remember. Mycelium Connection, uh, I think this one's just for if you're in the Mycelium channel, which is for Genesis holders, and you're super active and the moderators notice you or something. Uh, he also noticed, he no also noted that only the C1 role is available today. You may need to verify, like I mentioned, if you don't have the C1 role already. The other roles either coincide with upcoming releases or will be manually awarded to community members. Now, real quick, let's go to what Volt just said about all this. So, he was saying, who likes the C1 role? Let's go. <laughs> he made a little announcement here, which is great news for all of us. Uh, he survived COVID, which is awesome. And this was some really good news for us. He said, I got bags of alpha, but you can't drop it all too quickly. You know, he's really planning out this project. If he dropped all the alpha at the very beginning in the past three weeks, sure, the price would have been good, but, you know, where's the longevity in that? There's no future if everything that happens happens right away, right? So the next message he sent was, something you guys will see in three weeks will be legendary. It'll set us up for life. Been working on it for a while. You'll enjoy it. Trust me. And no other collection has produced something like this. Uh, this is a really awesome message. Very, very curious to see what exactly will be happening over the next three weeks. And at the three-week point, when we get this announcement, I'm sure it'll be very, very awesome. He also said that literally no other collections has done what we'll do in three weeks. Good things take time. Patience in this space pays. Now... If you were in his last spaces with iJustine, which basically was talking a lot about NFT education, he told his story about how he held uh, the WOW and BAYC NFTs through the ups and downs, and he was paid off very, very well. Uh, I believe he minted like 25 of the WOW NFTs, and I think they're trading at like, don't quote me on this, 20 Ether right now, something like that, uh, as the floor price. And I believe he got his BAYC at like 2 Ether and 
you know, the floors on those are absolutely crazy right now. Uh, someone asked, I have a quick question. I understand decisions have consequences, but will we fully be informed of what the consequences of our decisions are ahead of time with the focus on mental health? I hope so. I know for me, my biggest stress is the fear of making the wrong decision when it comes to things like this and the anxiety I feel not knowing what it is I'm choosing is significant. Voltura said to that, no consequences are detrimental. Are detrimental. Uh, making people upset is never going to help PA grow. Just sit tight and do what you feel is right. Who knows? Playing the hair route might be the better way to do it, but it will not be detrimental, which is a good thing. Now, with all that being said, I'm very, very excited to see what this actual announcement is uh, three weeks from now. And, you know, one of the biggest things that I would like to say um, for anyone who's in this for the short term, you know, you've been watching the price. We rocketed to like 2.8 Ether floor price. Now we're sitting at like a 1.24. And, you know, riding these ups and downs, it, it's it's going to be painful writing those downs if you don't really believe in the vision of the project if you don't believe in the team and you don't think they can deliver on what they said they'll deliver you know you're not gonna have the conviction you're not gonna be able to hold through the downs you're not gonna be able to buy the dips when they do eventually happen and this happens in every project it's not just psychedelics anonymous right it's literally b-a-y-c m-a-y-c doodles you know cool cats literally Every single NFT project will have its ups and downs. It's up to you to really do your own research. You know, take a look at the team, see what they've done in the past, see if you think they can deliver. That's one of the biggest reasons I'm invested in Psychedelics Anonymous personally. I really liked the past experience that Vulture has had, and I love that he's very transparent with us. You know, he's built a marketing business that's worked with many uh, NASDAQ uh, companies, I believe he's worked with companies totaling in like $54 billion worth of valuation, which is absolutely nuts. Uh, and even on his team, he has the CEO of a NASDAQ listed company, James Manning. And, you know, actually having the power and ability to bring in all these amazing talents and people into a team, when you combine the traditional business experience and you're trying to innovate into a new industry, web3 nfts i think that's just a absolutely killer combo i think a lot of uh people would become rich off first the nft space but specifically psychedelics anonymous i'm really really bullish on this project because of the team and what they've done in the past and what i think they'll be able to do in the future now if you guys have been following psychedelics anonymous you know that they're planning on releasing a crypto token uh ticker symbol psy and they've been looking a lot and researching all the legality things you know they've taken a look at the xrp uh sec documents uh vulture was talking about this last night which was really interesting to see right they're they're tricking they're they're learning from the past right and they've also mentioned like hey uh you know bayc they were asked you know when token when token and even they had to put out a statement um, I don't know what it was, but Vulture was talking about it. So there's there's a lot of legal implications with the tokens. And if you take a look on the Psychedelics Anonymous website, you know, they have a very legitimate NFT license statement and they're doing everything legitimately and they're planning for the long term. They're not just releasing alpha just for the sake of floor price temporarily, right? They're thinking very long term. They're going to be here for years to come, they're going to continue building this and they're and they're just going to be providing so much value to holders. And one of the biggest things uh, that Voltura has said, in my opinion, um, is that, you know, those who are patient are rewarded, you know, patience, persistence uh, and performance, I think were three things that he mentioned. Um, and I, I, I think that if you're playing the tortoise route here, you know, you're holding your sets, you're diamond handing, you're not doing anything, um, you're not trying to sell, you're not trying to flip, then you will be rewarded. And so far, we've had one snapshot for full set holders. That was for people who would hold a Genesis, IRL pass, Metaverse pass, 
Andy Component 1, they would get included in the snapshot if they were holding the full set at the time, and they would be able to claim a Component 2, uh, which is happening sometime this upcoming week, I believe. And, you know, that's only one of the future rewards that we'll get. The we, We've already also had two stealth snapshots since uh, that C2 snapshot, and these snapshots are going to be frequent, and they're going to occur... Um, on a regular basis, these this is to reward you, right? This is not something that should be taken lightly. You know, you probably shouldn't be flipping so much. In my opinion, uh, and this is not financial advice, do your own research. You know, I'm going to be holding my eight sets for a very long time. I may sell one to actually get my cost basis back and whatnot. But I think in the long run, I will be rewarded just like those who held... Uh, you know, B-A-Y-C, M-A-Y-C, through the ups and downs. Take a look at the team. Think if they can deliver. You know, it, it's it's really subjective. You know, if you think that they will succeed, at the end of the day, it's your investment. You can do what you want. But where I feel safe with my money is in Voltura. Taking a look at what he's done, uh, his vision for the project, he thinks very long-term. He doesn't do things just so the price can pump up for a couple of days. That's what I really like about this, you know. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.